happens last game of the day it's gonna be a banger gaskin and hypoc take it away thank you so much buddy all right then hypoc how are you seeing this one play out i mean seeing the viper pick again <laughs> i've got to give this one over to the parrots but it's going to depend a lot on what they can do with this attack in half you can see already just some early mid aggression coming up here angel going to try and get an entry into ropes that forces on the players all the way back up safe going to pop down all the way back into uh, a heaven you see that a snake bite covering off that push through ropes but angel now with control over mid and you can see already the rotations come out three players all the way back over in the defensive spawn two of them now looking to come up put some pressure into heaven maybe towards male but gonna be peeking into a double peek here and obviously have an early headshot coming out from ssk there and you seen will fall Bonkar again now he needs to hold down the fort he's gonna put some Classic shots through, but not land enough damage to slow the push. Ziz all the way back in the alley. And he's not going to find it. SSK just on point right now with the ghost. Going to find another kill over towards B. Dabbing the wall in frustration, perhaps. These party parrots are going to get this spike down eventually on B. The cross onto site from the brimstone hasn't happened yet, just because he's a little bit worried. Thinks Jay will get one onto Melonhead. And it's all going to be down to Bonka. And I don't have much hope for him, to be honest, in a one versus five. So Party Pirates are more than likely going to be taking the opening one here. And we're going to be following suit, I guess, with how we've seen Split played for the majority of the day. And that the attacking team has found success on not only the pistol rounds, but the game in general. Bonka might have been able to find one consolation, but thinks Jay is there to clean up. Yeah, again, uh, but, just that's that stacking up for the trade again. That's something we haven't really seen Bonk do too much. And I think that's why we've seen the operator be a factor in some of their losses here. But again, the pistol round on split, one of the most important, Dan. I don't know how you feel about it. But for me, especially the attacking side pistol round, a huge round put in their favor. Typically, yes. I mean, I, I would agree with you, but... I from what we've seen today, Split has been an attacking heavy map for all of the teams that have been contesting it. Like, it's been eight rounds dominating over four, like, the majority of the time. Yeah. So I that think that pistol round turns it from a six to an eight, I guess? Yeah, and I think actually the only team we've really seen kind of shine on defense on Split has been G2, right? And that was the, the game, obviously, we sat and watched Mixwell streams. We could see some chaos going down in mid here. This is just... Okay, I mean... Fairly typical of the round two, you know. Is that just a bit of a slaughterhouse going down there. SSK going to find three on the round for himself. But, I mean, out, outside of G2, I, I can't really think of anyone that's really shined on on defensive split, Dan. They haven't. No, it's just been, it's, it's been about the offense on split. Party Pirates, maybe they're going to continue that trend here, but we'll see what they can do in round three. That's also one of my favorite sprays. Just going to put it out there. Oh, Bonk going to be able to get back into things now. Like Realistically, without the Sage, I'm wondering whether they have to be a little bit more aggressive in certain scenarios. The the Viper on mid hasn't been able to hold teams at bay as successfully as the maybe safe would want. A little one way, yes, okay, does a lot of damage and blocks a lot of visual, but right about now, he's not going to be able to put that up for another five seconds. So now it allows them to push up, gain control of mid. Smoke's come out. And they can look towards heaven here. Angel just holding the cross, but there is the Viper Bubble yet again. Just being a little bit of a nuisance. It's slow play out of the party parrots. Angel has found his way into mailroom now, but maybe you've seen his caught wind of that. Don't think he knows that there's a player to the left, so he's going to be careful because the swing could come through. It could be an easy kill for him, but it's not. Yassin says no and gets the first for Bonk in a much needed win for them this round. And yeah, that's a big player to fall first as well angel we've seen how many times he's done damage safe now gonna have to put up this hold on a heavy he does find the first dinks will fall you see now three players stacked down towards a main that toxic screen still there paint shell gonna go over towards elbow the tripwire is triggered as they come down ramp and now all three of them grouped up around hell they're actually in center sight now they're gonna find one but Two for one trade going back in favor of Bonk. And there you go. You see, we'll find Artist, final player, and he will fall. Is there a reason why you emphasized the T there? Uh, no, no reason. No real reason. Okay. Just 
Just wondering. As uh, Bonk <laughs> coming back into things now, <laughs> you'd hope. Uh, their money has still been somewhat damaged. Maybe one player off a rifle from what I saw on the scoreboard. Is that a turtle? When she looks at you like this, what do you do? I mean, I would worry. I would run, I think. That would be me out of there all the rest of the day or straight back onto the PC, that's for sure. But Shout, with an angle here with the op, has been able to cover that push, but not able to get the frag. And instead, has found himself down to just 26 HP. At least he can heal back up, but someone who can't heal back up is SSK. He's been completely wiped out there by safe. And I'd say if Bonk can find maybe five rounds at least here on this defensive side, I, I'd still be confident they can take this map. From what we saw on them attacking-wise, they had so much to offer with the Viper. It was just really their defensive ability that let them down in a, in a game that, I mean, you could argue they may not have even lost if we had had the proper overtime rules available. So maybe this is their way of making up for that loss. The rotate comes through to a site from the four remaining players of Party Parrots. But with two players deep on site, it's very difficult to find your way onto A when there's a hold like this, isn't it? It is, yeah. And obviously this fire cam going to be a factor because they're going to get the information early enough. But here you go. Sky Smokes will fall. Artist will get the entry onto Bonkai. He will fall an elbow. Ziz still down in corner site. It's going to pick up two from their angel. Finally trading that one out and safe. Unfortunately, with no line of sight on, Showstopper pops. He's coming down. You're seeing, gonna have to try and find a frag quickly with this one. Goes into elbow. Angel will fall there. And now they have control of sight. And Xiao actually stuck all the way over here with an operator. Not really gonna have much of a way to get back to this. And you can see the defuse is just gonna come through. And that's a, a pretty easy retake there. The fuse comes out, and the save from Shao, of course, just to keep this... Oh, lovely. It's, it's the first lovely. time we've seen the Operator skin in play, and I, I absolutely love it. So That's definitely that my favorite. It. I mean, I don't usually op, but now I have that skin, I feel like I should. I feel uh, like I, I, was, I have a responsibility. I was saying this to you earlier, there's nothing more satisfying now than the last kill of the round being with the Operator with the finishing animation, I'm telling you. I'm going to be that annoying person now that forces an operator up every single game. <laughs> As See, a where, is, where is this in the map? <laughs> There's all these different things that they're finding, the observers. You just don't see it. And now I always find it interesting when Vipers ult down mid. Like, personally, I'd rather use Vipers pit on either A or B and force someone to push to one of the sites rather than take mid control. I'd rather have a Sage. Oh, Moses uh, <laughs> apparently would rather have a Sage than a Viper. I don't know. We'll see what happens at the end of this game. And maybe Bonk can prove you wrong. I mean, it's it it's it's definitely feasible with, with the amount of pressure that Parrots are able to put on with this mid control. Yeah, It's not necessarily a, a wasted investment. But you can see here, if they walk up and push it, by the time they get to male stairs, they're already at like 20 HP. So it, it's definitely not the worst thing. It's going to force them... I guess down to, to kind of tunnel everybody over towards A side. Because obviously B is difficult if you just push from Garage. You have the benefit when you go A, you can split through Heaven, unless your scene's got something to say about it. It's going to put Shao down before this push even comes out. Bonkard, just absolutely no respect dropping down off Heaven. He's going to meet somebody in the smoke. Artist is going to find his second there. Your scene will fall inside screens. And now he has the revive up. You can see, gonna get Dinks back on his feet here. This is spring through the wall. It's gonna be a two versus four retake. This is gonna be extremely difficult. Paranoia sends out. There are two players in hell at the moment. Artis is gonna be the first one to do some real damage, but Ziz oh! gets of them, which means that this is somewhat doable. SSK will find Melonhead, so Ziz has to go clutch, but Angel denies it. See, and look at that animation you were talking about. 3-2 <laughs> <laughs> to the party parrots as they get themselves back on the board again. Show me just... where the bike shed is. Show me where the bike shed is. Isn't it? He's saying shed, by the way, all uh, all the non-Brits in the in the chat. Wait, did I? 
Did I say it <laughs> like something else? I um, mean, Americans <laughs> might have felt like you said something else. There you go. There there's, the, there's the bike shop. It's by the turtle. Okay. Next to the coffee shop and the bookstore. And the 2D spanners, apparently. I was going to say, that's, that's the same, the that's same quality that we saw uh, Moses webcam in early days yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the 2D wrench. Was it a wrench rather than a spanner? I don't know. Questions for another day, is maybe. Is it a shed or is it? <laughs> <laughs> Melonhead gets the open. And Bonk have the player advantage. The, the Viper wall is up. Well, it's not really going to be doing much at this point. It's just about holding middle for them, but it looks like uh, Party Pirates are very heavily opting to go into B here. Angel gets one onto Bonkar, and now they are going to be having this site. Shao also taking down Yassine. And being down a man there now. Up a man. Bonk down to just two. Shao is doing some real damage on this op. Melonhead, can he reply? Can he maybe get an op shot of his own? But they're both going to be hovering around Pillar, and it's so difficult to hit these shots. He will force them out with the ability. He does tag Shao. Really big op shot. But again, time against them here. And it is going to be Ziz and Melonhead again trying to work together. But Ziz just can't connect with the shots. Angel doing so well. Melonhead will find his third. But you feel like maybe time. Oh, he's going to A little it. bit too late. Uses the ult. Finds the fourth. Has he got enough time here? Looks towards back right. But he is going to be Garage, the final player. Oh. Does get the ace, but unfortunately too late to get the defuse. An incredible round from Melonhead. And for all that, will kill himself alongside the ace. Just needed Ziz to stay alive, really. Yeah, he did. And again, though, the post palm position there from SSK, he still had the aftershock to play for. I was surprised to see him invest the rolling thunder there, but did at least convert one kill off that. And like you said, did get the ace in the end of things, but... Just couldn't get in there early enough. Party Pirates still carrying on the theme of attacking strength on split today. Safe will continue to throw this one way in mid. As you can see, the money briefly there. Safe just going to have the Stinger to work with. Doesn't want to be so careful there. He didn't want to give a, a sound cue. He's going to be able to take down Angel here pretty comfortably. We'll look for the second, and he like gets the that. spray down. Huge double kill. Can he make it three? No, he can't. SSK ensures he gets the trade. But those are some very impactful frags from safe. And I think that's what you've got to do when you're in rounds like that and you don't have much money to work with. You've got to ensure you try something a little bit different. Yeah, no, I like that. That's uh, that's what we wanted to see from the Viper mid play. And unfortunately, on uh, exactly it's a part by round. Neural Theft going to get popped here as you've seen falls. Is he doesn't oh. really care. He doesn't care about the neural theft. The information given over, but Ziz still managing to pick up two kills in mid. And that's actually going to put our boy Shout in a one v two situation. Bonkar with his signature Bucky down below heaven. There you go. Shout going to pick up Ziz on the stairs, and that's going to leave Shout and Bonkar in one v one now. Boombot going back, and that's going to force Bonkar to choose a different path to go through. I think he's going to look to upgrade a weapon in mid. Shout, going to plant super safe down next to the edge of Elbow. Only 45 HP, and if Bonkar has been able to find a weapon, this is definitely doable, but it's just... with the sheer lack of information, it's where he goes and which angles he checks. Because if he turns I mean, his back at all, then it's going to be an easy frag and an easy round for Party Parrots. This is but good, though. This He's might be the perfect ramp. route. Everyone says that ramp is the best way to go, and if you just click... Checks left here. It's going to be the round. It's going to be easy yes. for him. And Bonk are going to put their third one down now. Well played, realistically. If you consider that, should be a thrifty, shouldn't it? I have another iron question. At what point are you not checking ramp there? I think, personally, it makes sense to always go down ramp. I would never push out window because you don't want to give the audio cue of dropping exactly. out. You have to go either CT or ramp. And ramp I just mean, seems the better view. He just didn't yeah. seem to put much attention that way. I was interested uh, to see that. Well, it, 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 I guess the misplay there is he completely focused on screens. Again, you've got to take a 50-50 bet of whether or not he's going to come screens or ramps if you don't have the audio cue from, from heaven, as Dan says, but maybe just tunneling it a little too much. Again, knowing it's the Cypher that's still alive, you've got to expect him rotating from B, so logic would tell you he's going to come from the defensive spawn side. Uh, I guess just 
you know, taking a 50-50 gamble and losing out on it. I guess, considering where he was, he could have just focused ramps and then waited to... Yeah, you're absolutely right. ...to hear for an audio cue of, of the bomb being defused, but... I like iron questions from Moses. This, uh, this is maybe something we can we can do. Well, if only he had like a well, podcast a or something. Here you go. Here you go. Coming down on the iron chat again, you've got to argue that he did get the paint shells back up from getting the two kills, so he could have played a better post-plant position and then just used the paint shells to deny the plant. So... I don't know. That's 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 with my my forehead, hard stuck diamond brain. As we see, you see, oh. actually going to pick up two here from male. Dow finally going to shut him down. Now you're going to see a little bit of a push up to be heaven again, but there's only three members up for the parrots now. Four for Bonk, and it's going to be a little dance with Ziz on B site. Just strafing left and right to see if he can catch anyone pushing through heaven. Yeah, nice little view of this one. Shower's weak elsewhere. And no ability to be healed up with the Sage taken out of this round. Sky Smoke's come out and now the push potentially there, but Ziz does connect. I was a little bit worried he wasn't going to be able to find one, but he makes it too. And with the spike dropping, that's going to be the round for Bonk. They're going to get a fourth on the board now. Party Parrot's just going to have to save up. Last remaining player being Dinks. At least he does have a Vandal to save. But four I rounds mean, is pretty good. Do you know what? Fair play to Ziz. We saw him drop a donut going 0 and 9 in the previous map. I mean, so far so good for him. We've seen him stringing together a couple of a couple of really nice kills in clutch situations. You know, putting two or three on the board in in terms of solo holding down sites, or even on the retake, we saw him as well. Or that aggressive push down mid on the eco round. So, really good to see Ziz pull his socks up and uh, turn around a poor performance. Well, this fourth round could potentially be converted into what on earth is happening? That oh, I just, I almost thought we finally had left-handed <laughs> view for a second and everyone in chat got excited. I got excited, but no. It was just a, uh, a clever scheme from our observers. This fourth should be converted into a fifth. Party Pirates are in a weak bite. But I have seen party parrots pull out the stops with a an eco round before. They do have the one rifle to work with, so a lot of responsibility on Dink's shoulders. Sky smokes are gonna be there. The audio cue is going to be popped, but I don't know if anyone was close enough to hear it. They still can continue just to walk onto sight here, but Bonka does shoulder peek and sees one, tries to get the spray down, but doesn't have the luck he had earlier. Ooh. Will be slowed and then needed. Ziz at least finds SSK, so it is gonna be a four versus four. The A site very much taken at this point, and the retake's gonna have to happen from Bob. Showstopper gets popped, and Angel gonna shut down the Showstopper. Paranoia actually pushed through here, and that's gonna catch Dinks at the bottom of ramp. See, Angel actually gonna pop the uh, orbital strike there, and that's gonna force both of those players apart from each other. Ziz will fall, and Angel will find a second on the round now. Safe. Probably spotted out that cross from Xiao, so he knows he's in corner sight. Angel now taking up the slack on hell. Wow. Thrifty for party parrots. That was such an easy round for them. Uh, unfortunately, there just wasn't a strong enough hold on that A site. Showstopper versus ghost. I just want to put that out there. That was a showstopper versus a ghost. I mean, the showstopper's cursed today. We, we've established that. I can count. I don't actually. I need my fingers and my toes to count how many times the showstopper has not found a kill today. And party pirates. Someone well, tell all, tell all that, those complaining a NA players that the showstopper is weak and they got to stop complaining about it. Exactly. Easiest ult in the game, they say. Well, it doesn't look like that's the case in today's tournament. Party pirates with a 5 4 lead. And I did say that if Bonk can get five, I think they would be happy. And maybe they're going to be a pretty annoyed they didn't find one in that previous round. But Melonhead gets the opener onto Dink. Oh. Safe will also grab a kill onto Angel. Now, surely this is a round for them, right? But there is a showstopper available on Party Parrot's side, and maybe they can show us how it's done instead. Yassine takes down Artist. The res is there, so he should get a free kill onto Angel, which he does. Peaks for the third, but isn't going to connect. Paint shells are there. Safe is also going to follow up, and it's just going to be Shao remaining. And this is such a closely contested half. It's going to be 5-5. Five -five. And I wonder whether this one is going to go all the way down to the wire like we saw previously when they played against Prodigy.
A lot of time to be saving the op from Xiao here. Are Bonk going to go hunting for him is the real question. And uh, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with how Bonk have been defending. Yeah. There has been a couple of questionable rounds and maybe rounds I mean, they should have been winning. Honestly, safe has looked much better this series. Especially on split. And, uh, oh, this is going to be awkward timing here. Xiao actually going to turn around and catch your scene at the right moment. 12 seconds left now. We're going to see anybody else wanting to risk losing their weapon. But just coming back to that, I'm not sure how you feel about it, Dan, but safe definitely looking much better this time around on split, especially defensive-wise. Yeah, he's been a lot more comfortable in middle and he's picked up some pretty impactful kills. But I think it's also the support he's had from mailroom it that wasn't necessarily there yeah, in the previous yeah. time we saw so he was often facing mid alone and just getting bullied out of ropes and having to rotate back through to a site giving up middle and it was never a fun situation to be a part of but better communication now it would seem from the side of bonk and as i mentioned earlier i think this composition is is pure aggression and, and, and about attacking rather than defending some would argue that maybe it is more defensive because viper and her one ways but the lack of Sage just worries me at times, but it has worked out in different rounds as here comes Viper Spit again down middle. And I'm going to continue to question the ult down middle. It doesn't feel right to me. I can understand you want mid control and it means oh. it does force them to either site, but why wouldn't you put it on one site and force them to the other site? I mean, here now it's going to force five players into the garage push out of lane. Again, no actual real information coming out because the cyber cage is going to block LOS there. And you can see now they've just walked straight in. They they shouldn't be getting B-side for free like this. No ultimates on the side of Parrots for the post plant position, but Spike will go down on default. Melon will find SSK. Now this is going to be a 5v4 retake for the boys on Bonk. Thinks misses his first op shot. Cyber Cage just to protect him from any sort of push here. He's going to slow peek round this one. Can he connect with the bullet? He does. It wasn't probably the player he was expecting to get, but Yassine gets the trade. Rolling Thunder popped onto the site. There is a couple of players very much hiding in the corners, but the retake has been successful for Bonk. Just one player remaining. It's just Xiao on his own. Gets oh. one, but he can't get the second safe. Sprays him down through the wall. And even though I questioned the Viper's pit middle, it turned out it didn't matter in the end as they were able to successfully retake that B site. Yeah, I mean... The spy, cam, the spy cam there, as soon as he pops his cage, he doesn't have the information of how many push in, so it didn't necessarily negate the threat from mid, which is an interesting decision to make. Uh, I mean, they still did pretty much get B site for free, but Moses, I in question. It's a, it's a, well, the, would you say the B split is the, is one of the stronger approaches on this map? Because I kind of uh, feel that if you're taking that away at mid, at least, you know, once or twice a game, kind of gives you an opportunity. Like that retake, that retake was pretty clean. Definitely. If you can retake that comfortably, I I, I think, you know, it, it's definitely a viable strap. But this time around, I think Dan's hit the nail on the head. Safe has much more support in mid this time around. And I guess it, it's just more effective this time around. No, I'm joking. But that was a fantastic hold there again. The toxic screen going up and you can see it just lining up over the entrance from Garage at that point. You know, he didn't even get caught off by the flashpoint there. Two of the players lined up for him, but absolutely fantastic stuff from somebody who, you know, we've seen uh, perform very, very well across the day. So Bonk go in with a 7-5 lead. I think they'll be fairly happy with that, considering how well they performed earlier attacking on split, and now it is their turn to attack. Happy to either push through a smoke or send his boom bot and follow up the boom bot, but... I mean, 16 frags and how he's been playing at the moment. I'm not surprised. And he did pick up an ace. I don't know if the stream caught it or not, but what a hold it was. 7-5 as we transition now into Bonk's attacking half and see what they have to offer. You can see that toxic screen going up again. Paranoia actually popped all the way through to rafters. Now you can see Paint Shell probably gets sent down male stairs. It's safe already pretty deep in B lane. You're going to see he's going to get up close and personal with the Cypher of Dinks. No real push coming out just yet, but you can see they've baited out the rotation and now the spike making a rotation through ropes. There is a trap wire, so they are going to have to pop that one to go through. And that's going to give the information over that 
perhaps B isn't the real target here. A little bit of a faker Rooney. Viper wall. The smoke screen comes out. Toxic screen, excuse me, and I wonder whether that's going to be enough of a bait. He has managed to keep all those three members on the B site as the rest now start to dart towards A Heaven. Melonhead gets the opening pick onto Angel, and now as long as they can take out this breach on site, it's going to be an easy and comfortable plant. What can the breach do is the real question. As everyone else is rotating around, SSK has picked up the first one. Yassine, he's actually oh. picked up two off camera there. Ziz finally cleans him up, but SSK certainly did his job. Dinks replies onto safe. Someone needs to get this plant down. It's just going to be the one remaining player, Bonkar of Bonk, in a one versus two. A comfortable second round and take this to 7-7. Seven, seven. And I'm surprised, really. I, mean, I know we missed it because... We were watching the rotate. We didn't actually see the kills from SSK, but the fact he was able to pick up two unchallenged on site there, I guess you could say he isn't really good enough from the side of Bonk. They had to do a little bit better, but maybe they just didn't spot him out quick enough. As we take another little pause. I mean, where do you see this one going? What's your prediction now we've managed to see one half here, Hypot? I mean, I... I was going to give it to the Paris just given their track record on this map, but... Uh, Bonker definitely making it interesting. I'm going to be honest. Majority of the wins we see in favor of the Parrots, most teams don't make it past the six round mark. So the fact that Bonk have got seven on the board is something to consider, definitely. And again, it's not to say that, you know, Parrots are necessarily playing badly. I, I think Bonk have just come into this one with a completely different approach and it's working for them. Yeah, just something a little bit off meta. The Viper a lot more successful when they're defending half than it was previously. But I mean, watching these games again, I mean, one of these two teams is going to progress through to tomorrow. And they're going to progress through potentially second, but of course they're, they are going to be tying 2-1. Do we see them being able to compete with, if not G2, with, with even Fabrican from what we saw from Fabrican yesterday? I mean, I, I think it's safe to put G2 in a... Uh... A different category. A league of, yeah, yeah, a league of their own. Uh, Fabricant, again, did turn things around, and that was after getting absolutely... I mean, you you used the word spanked, and I'm kind of inclined to uh, to follow suit there, but Fabricant in a rather series didn't necessarily look like a slouch. So it's going to be interesting to see once we get to the playoffs, but I can't help but think coming back to bind being a factor for the Parrots, knowing that Fabricant have made it through as well. That's obviously something to think about going forwards. Yeah, it's almost like if you're going up against party pirates, you just slap bind on as your chosen map and almost guarantee yourself a map. That's not really the way you want to go if you are party pirates. And maybe a little bit of preparation and research needs to be done by them tonight if they manage to progress. But everything's slow and steady for Bonk at the moment. Seeing if party pirates are going to be pushing either A or B site, but no one just yet, and it is just going to be the, the hold on B from the Brimstone and the Cypher. Molotov at the ready. Spots the camera, forces out the utility, job done. That's exactly what they needed to do, as three of the other members are waiting to push through mailroom. Smokes might come out, but they can push through these ones. Angel will get the opener on to Ziz. Oh, did he spot that crossover there? Actually, no, oh. he's not shorty. He straight out of... Smoke and Artist is going to pick up your scene on the way in, turn around, find Melon in Heaven as well, and that's good work from Artist. See that safe going to fall down on site. That was uh, that was scary there. The poison cloud was up, and you you saw how close Bonkar was able to get with the shorty. I mean, that would have made you jump, really. You're playing that, suddenly you turn to your left, and you've got shotgun bullets flying towards your face. Uh, Bonk at least tried something with that second round, but now they've got money to work with. At 7-7. Seven, seven. One SMG and one... Uh, sorry, two SMGs and one Bulldog on the side of Party Parrots. So this is definitely winnable for Bonk. But it's whether they go for more of a traditional execute or if they continue this method of just a slow build-up through middle. Trying to get an early pick. Checking all their angles and... Dark cover on both sides. The wall comes through, but a player went over that wall. There is a player on top of the wall. It's going to be Melonhead. Once this dark cover goes, though, he is going to be very vulnerable. So has to watch out. Finds one. Maybe looks for a second. Great spray down from him. Uh, that is just really unfortunate timing from Artist. Put the wall up. Thought he'd probably done his job, but there was Melonhead. Just being a nuisance.
Two players have found their way onto the B site from Heaven. Paranoia comes through. The Flash, as a response, Shao at least takes down Yasin. And he can throw the paint shells to try and do damage. Safe eliminates SSK. They just need to retrieve this spike and get this spike down as they do have a four versus two. I wonder whether Party Pirates are probably just going to opt to save the weapons or whether they go for this one here. See Dinks backing up with the Spectre. I don't necessarily think at 7-7 seven, seven, this is a... Uh... This is the one they should force the issue on. And 2v4, cracking that post plant lockdown on B site as well. Not going to be easy, but I think he's actually going to crab walk his way through the dark cover. He's going to lose his spectre for his troubles, but Xiao does have a vandal. you got to think he's valuing that one a bit more. The whole team just wolf packing at the moment, seeing if they can catch out the remaining player. But they get out of sight, they get out of dodge, and Bonk put their first on the round. First on the scoreboard, sorry. With that round, leading 8 7 now. And of course, it was that round where Party Parrots had a little bit of a weird buy. This might sound like a very iron question, which is why I'm asking it, but does it seem like neither of these teams want to lose? Like, that's how they're playing. They're both playing like they like to to avoid losing versus playing to win. Yeah, that's which which is a, is a very caster question, but it, it seems um, like this is much more conservative. Definitely so. I mean, seeing Angel at 9 and 14 stands out for me because he's yeah. one that's kind of... Uh, he's had a stellar performance throughout the day. And I guess you could really put that down to maybe a switch up a playstyle. They definitely didn't look as aggressive in the first half of the game. Obviously, now they're on defense, so naturally we're going to expect that aggression or that lack of aggression to continue. So we'd have Melonhead looking to pressure B Heaven here. He's actually going to find Artis. No idea that Melonhead could be that close already with the dark cover going up, but there was a little gap for him to peek through. So now immediately sending the man advantage over to Bonk. And it looks like we're going to have a couple of players stacking up towards the B side. And the spike is going to go that way as well. Toxic screen goes up. Dinks now. Let's see. Safe back and all the way up. Maybe just didn't like the look of something there. Bonk doing a little bit better on retrieving the spike on split than they did bind. A bit more conscious of it. Maybe a little bit more worried of any rotating players catching them off guard. Party Parrots have three over on the A side, and it's just going to be the one player on B. I'm sure that Bonk won't be aware of that, but the Rolling Thunder comes out. Doesn't connect with anyone, but will give them the confidence at least to push on the site. Flash will allow them to easily take down things. And the site has been claimed. The spike can go down. And this retake is not going to be a comfortable one for Party Parrots. And that's why they are saying, yeah, now nah, we don't fancy this one. We'll just keep these weapons, thank you very much. Too easy, really, for Bonk. After they got that opening pick and they have the man advantage, they were able to stroll their way onto B-Site. Yeah, and opting to hold on to these three weapons, which I guess now... I was talking about the 7-7 seven, seven situation. They're going to go down to 9-7 now. And again, it's always scary once the team gets closer and closer to that 10-round mark. And you've got to start thinking about you know, what happens in the next round or in two rounds from now if we drop another two in terms of the economy. So absolutely the right decision here. And obviously Bonk, they're going to be banking. Bonk are going to be banking. Absolutely bonking. Because they've, uh, they've kept all five players up. Here. Here. So much different Bonk analogies that worry me but, it's bonk in uh, madness yeah, yeah, yeah. recalling Absolutely. the flank bank is also we can't let that one go yeah that will well, never be forgotten and is very much going to be remembered and clipped could we go with the flunk bonk something we could, <laughs> we could say is something in the bonk playbook this is how british slang is born there's there's some cockney rhyming jokes in here somewhere i'm sure oh absolutely without a shadow of a doubt Safe going to be throwing his utility towards B yet again, not opting to throw down the toxic screen just yet. Dark cover is just going to be blocking off mail room, but 
Bonk have been very methodical with how they've been approaching this attacking half on split. And they did something similar against Prodigy and it was very successful. But I think it is always going to come down to that first pick as there is the, the toxic screen now. Available. And it just, it worries you, doesn't it? If you're on that B site and you see the toxic screen, you're naturally yeah. going to be saying, all right, they're, they're coming B. You've got, to, B. you've got to give it the attention it deserves because it is such a distraction. And the lack of information it cuts off, you can see actually now, Dink's trying to kind of adapt to it and put a different spy cam down to still get that information. But Melonhead going to find an entry up onto Shout in heaven. And here we go. Now things are going to explode. Dink's is going to find your scene. Goes unanswered right now, but Ziz will shut down Angel elsewhere. SSK will fall, which means just two players on Party Parrots alive, and they're both going to be on the B side. Bonk don't know that yet. They are just checking every corner, every nook, every single cranny, as this spike can be successfully planted on A. And this is going to be another round heading towards Bonk, and probably another save of weapons from Party Parrots. They've just had to resort to saving three rounds in a row now. They haven't been able to do enough damage with those initial players being contested on the site. Maybe if they were only one player down, they might go for the retake, but they've been more than two players down every single time. Yeah, this is uh, this is scary territory for Parrots now. Y you've got to be worried here. Whether or not we're going to see a complete switch up, uh, I, I doubt, you know, Parrots are used to being in this position on Split. The, the, we talked about the track record. Are they that good at playing from behind on split? Because we're not really seeing much life out of them here, Dan. They seem to have run out of steam a little bit. They have party parrots. And the rest of the team have gone for a little bit of a hunt. And they've taken those weapons off them now. So things gone from bad to worse. Money just about there. But it is going to mean that if they do lose this round... Well, they are potentially looking at a 12-7. They're, they're tapped out after this. Yeah. Year. Again, as soon as soon as you've got kind of three or four players under 500 credits, you know a lot is riding on it. It's, it's a huge investment to make, especially considering they're forcing up with an operator as well. What we saw earlier from Party Pirates is when they were in this situation, they usually were able to pull out the stops, but certainly Dink's going down that early is not going to be a good sign for the rest of this round. Bonk having the man advantage, make that a two player advantage now. You've seen eliminating Angel. Angel just not having the same impact we've He's seen not. on previous rounds. And again brings the question up for me of, is he right on Brimstone? And I know him and the team are probably thinking, well, who are you to tell us what agent to play? But I just think he has so much potential, so much fragging power. I would personally love to see him on a duelist. But for now, he finds himself in the death screen. Showstopper at least connects for your scene and somehow he survives. Safe gets the one onto Artist as well. And that's just going to be the two players remaining on Party Parrots. you seen. Must be counting his lucky stars at that point. No way would he survive in other scenarios. <clears throat> They're heading towards eight. And Party Parrots. Probably going to have to save. Yeah, they are. It's just... Uh, I. I mean, I'm kind of with you. If you if you can imagine Angel playing, uh, I mean, you know, if you talk about, we saw a couple of Rainer flourishes. The number of times we see Angel just winning those 1v1s in terms of entries or, you know, going for an aggressive peek out somewhere on defense. And here you go. This is the confidence play right here. Melonhead immediately going through the attack and spawn here. They're gonna, they absolutely want to punish them. Ziz is going to find Dinks, but SS SSK is going to pick up two. Try and hold on to the operator, but right there, you can see they absolutely they want to kick them while they're down. They want to punish the economy as much as possible and put the Paris into a position that they can't come back from. Yeah, they want an easy round to take this to 12, so they very much want to take the off off of SSK, which they do. 11-7. And our party Parrots are very much going to be on nothing now. Either have to eco or go for some sort of half-buy, and it looks like it is going to be the half-buy. A Bucky SMG. Maybe Dinks just goes for a Sheriff here as they can save for overtime potentially. But with the way Bonk have been playing, it looks like they're going to be heading into tomorrow's last four. 
Unless we see a real shift in how Party Parrots approach this game. Because defensively, they've just not been able to hold the sights. As I say that, Shell goes down instantly and it is a change of pace for Bonk. They've been so slow and methodical, but this time they get fast and furious. But as I say that, maybe it goes against them. SSK gets a double. Orbital Strike is there. Has SSK done enough to maybe rescue this game for Party Pirates? Melonhead says no, denies Artis from picking up a frag. And now Angel is close. Viper's Pit popped. Safe has to push out of the Viper's Pit. He's not even going to be able to keep it because of that Molotov, unfortunately. Can he get back into it quick enough? Yes, no, he can't. Three versus three. Yeah, and Spike actually went down in hell there. So the reason he popped the Viper's Pit there, anybody wondering in chat, was to try and retrieve the Spike out of that Orca position. And now, Parrots can pull back. It is a 3v3, but you got to say, that's a good position for them to be in, considering where the Spike's down. Ziz using the teleport through. Dink's actually going to find safe in heaven. That's a 1v1. You can't be losing to a Sheriff. Uh, Ziz... Didn't get any information over there, and now you can see two players lurking over towards. Ultimate Orb will be acquired, and the Rolling Thunder probably going to get popped onto site here, but no. On second thoughts, not going to go for it. Actually, there you go. Does get popped. Angel going to find Ziz in heaven. Now that just leaves our boy Melonhead. Yeah, Melonhead, not enough time to get this job done now, so... This is going to be an eighth on the board for Party Parrots. They've done so well, considering, you know, saying how Bonk... They changed things up, they got fast, but it almost played into the hands of SSK, who was waiting there with the Spectre. And he makes it three after finding a Phantom on the ground, so... Uh, SSK just swapped his gun out for a Spectre in the last second. That was a little bit of a fat finger, I guess. He dropped the Phantom for the Spectre. So he's got to buy up. <laughs> that was a weird one there, Dan. Sorry to cut you off. I mean, these things happen. Sometimes you see the skin on the floor and probably he thought it was a Vandal because he does prefer the Vandal over the Phantom from what we've seen from him today. But, yep, he's going to have to buy up and maybe he'll regret that next round if they find themselves down 12-8. Bonk. I have another iron question. We have another iron question from Moses. Is the Phantom better than the Spectre? Yes. Yes. Okay. That, I, I don't even think we can call that an iron question. What's below iron? I'm running out of gas here, okay? Okay. Yes, the fans are very much the wood. favorable weapon wood for a lot of people. Iron. Yeah, yeah, wood. <laughs> Melonhead gets tagged up, and artists will clean it up as well. All right, party pirates find themselves. I, I de I've definitely called them party pirates at least six times today. By the way, <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up. I thought I heard it earlier, and I was like, maybe I'm just hearing it in my head. I think I said Farty Parrots at one point, too. I just I can't help myself. Like It's just a confusing name, apparently, for my brain. Bonkar from Bonk. Can he get a tag up to ramp? No, he can't, because the smoke will come through, and he'll just have to wait and be patient. But The slow, methodical approach has certainly worked for the majority of this game for Bonk, but usually they've had the player advantage going into it, whereas they're a player down, and safe is pretty weak as well. Twenty seconds left means they have to make a move soon, and with the Molotov and the wall up, that is not going to be an easy decision. So I wonder whether this is going to be a save. No, they're going to burst onto this A site now, and with Ziz and Yasin falling, that spike's going down. This is going to be a round to party parrots yet again. Yeah, just instantly shut down. Obviously, time it going to run all the way down, and that is again. Another round to the Parrots, and now that brings it to a bit more of an interesting scoreline. Again, economy-wise, not a huge issue. They saved two weapons, and those two players have both got 6,200 and 6,300 credits, respectively. But could this be the turning of the tides for the Parrots? Yeah, how have Party Parrots started to get a little bit of a read now on Bonk? You said it again there. No, no I definitely said Parrots. I heard That's, pirates personally. I heard pirates there. I, I think it might be my accent at this point. I'm going to be completely honest. I like party pirates personally. I, I, I personally, yeah, a, I think it's, it might be a better name. Maybe we should uh, rename them. It's like a really, it's like if someone said, hey, you're going to go see the pirate, but the party pirates, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to see that. Where are we going? 
Sounds like a good time, regardless of. Uh, if I say pirates and pirates, so that they're, they're, they're very similar for me. And related. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah, there is a connection there. Pirates do have parrots. I think that's my southwest accent coming into the equation. As soon as that R is there, I struggle a little bit. Are you from Arizona? Negative. <laughs> what do Bonk have to do now here? Hypoc. They've, they've tried and tested a few things and they've started to kind of run out of gas. I mean... The aggression worked. It's, uh, the only time parrots have really kind of stopped those fast executes onto the sites have been on the back of, you know, kind of like an aggressive peak and, and losing two people early on the way in. This this toxic screen over a B site, I'm going to be honest, I I didn't rate it too much. I know a lot of people are memeing it in chat, but it has worked out a few times for them. And again, it's looking like we're going to see a stack up this side. Two players making it all the way into B heaven already, but we do have... One player in hell, one on default, on B site. And then we have artist all the way at the back of stairs. So potentially a bit of a read coming out here. And they're going to have to wait for contact after this barrier drops. Which it does. And it's going to be just the one player pushing through at the moment. We do tag artist down, but artist will, of course, heal himself up. And now they can go for this B split that has been so successful for them throughout the entirety of this game, pushing through the cyber cage. And there we go. Nice. There's a showstopper doing some damage. Safe gets taken down. Oh, safe the only one there. There's two members in the defensive spawn here, though, Dan. Let's see. You're seeing going to get one onto SSK. Xiao now in a position where he's got to take this 1v2 awkwardly. He's not going to force the issue. He actually is. He's going to land the headshot, actually. And Dinks will find Ziz. Xiao will find a third artist. We'll shut down Bonker, and that is the best hold we've seen on this B execute by Party Parrots. At 11 10 now, and you're starting to wonder are Bonk going to be getting in their own heads at this point? It's such a successful start to this second half, but now Party Parrots really starting to gain some confidence. Money's still okay, though, for Bonk. Even if they were to lose this next round, they pretty much have a full bite. You've seen the only one who's really struggling. But you've seen he's more than capable of picking up a couple of kills, even if they are to lose a round. And now their B execute has gone to... Wow, oh, plop. They're going to go back to middle and seeing if they can do something a little bit different here. Dark cover Same allows them setup. to press up. Same setup again here, Dan. They're going to try and pressure Artist off B Heaven. This time around, Artist going to put the wall up a little bit later, but he's going to get the audio cue because they're shooting the wall this time. And you can see that's already brought the rotation from Shao over. He's got a paint shell to hopefully slow this down a little bit. They creep their way into B Heaven again. Didn't oh, work last round. He spied the battle. Yeah, he's seen him here. Artist can get a big frag here. Ziz does take down Shaldo, who was trying to come from behind. Artist does a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough to get the frag. But he oh. will find Melonhead pushing up to the rafters. Dinks follows up with one of his own onto Yasin. And wow, Dinks just doing an oh. incredible job here to hold this site. Bonka knows Dinks is there, but it doesn't matter because Artist comes from behind. Another successful B hold from Party Parrots. I mean, when it matters, I talked about it earlier, you know, on Haven, turning things around when parrots looked like they were stuck in a rut. Now, again, when it matters here on Split, 1-1 one, one in the series, 11-11 11, 11 on Split. And the parrots in a position to turn this match on its head. Four in a row now. And they've really, really put a hold on this B-split, as you said, Dan. And I'm going to be honest, on the back of Artist and his B-Heaven hold, to be honest with you. Yeah, the barrier has just done so much damage. Your scene will come through now with the Showstopper, and again, it's into Heaven. And there is no one there. He needs to look onto this site realistically if he's going to find anyone, but again, just doesn't fire <laughs> and even try. <laughs> he just puts it, it like... away, like, oh, I guess I'll not. 
I mean, you go for surely you just fire it anyway to see if you can hit someone. Luckily, I don't know. We've seen some questionable oh. showstoppers today, but at least they found themselves into heaven. They can flank around behind the rest of their team, but they walk straight into Shao's op. Shao wise to it. That is a big kill for Party Pirates. Art is taking down Ziz too, and maybe this is the beginning of the end for Bonk. Just the breach remaining, and Party Pirates are going to go 12-11 up here. Looks like she jumped up the map. This is, uh, I wasn't expecting them to bounce back like this. I'm not going to lie. They, uh, they look 10 times better now. And again, reading that, reading that push through heaven for Shao to come and peek that with the operator. It absolutely heads up read. Shutting that down. Cause again, it was, it was a two man flank as well, Dan. So, you know, you got to argue that if he loses that one, the information goes over that. Somebody's coming through. A little peek at Melonhead's chest tap. Angel now actually going to come around wall bang onto the box and actually going to spot him out there. And there you go. Melonhead will not be able to save his weapon. And I think, actually, this might be a broken buy. They're obviously going to force up here, Dan, because they can't afford not to. But a couple of light armors there. You can see Bonkard doesn't have a penny to spare. Melonhead obviously losing that weapon. He's only got 2,900 in the bank. So probably going to see a light armor bulldog going out for him. We do have Neural Theft and the Rolling Thunder to consider, but that's all Bonk have got to work with in this crucial round for them. Bonkart really not had a game to scream and shout about. We've praised him so much today, and he's had some incredible rounds, incredible holds, but only the six kills in these 23 rounds so far. Hasn't been good enough, but Bonk, maybe they can pull out something here to take this to overtime. They push up to heaven yet again. It's just the one player though. No showstopper to push in with. Has to win this fight with SSK. Does you see if he's gonna be aggressive, but maybe he's just gonna hold and wait as the rest of the team just almost hoping for an audio cue that they can push onto this site. Just the two players are at A, so if there can be the one pick. Maybe this could be the entry that Bonk so desperately need to get onto site. Dark Cover will come out. So will Rolling Thunder. And here comes the push. And Yasin has been able to get behind here. This could be absolutely massive. One player rotating. Did he take him down? No, he actually... Yes, he did. Off screen. Shao gets one with the paint shells, though. Yasin gets a second. There is one player in heaven. It's going to be safe. Artis gets the res onto Angel. And Bonk have found themselves down to just two here. We will see Neural Theft come out. Information's oh. there. Angel does the job. And it's a three versus one. It's all down to safe. Can he clutch up poor Bonk Hero? A party Parrot's going to be heading into tomorrow's competition. Unfortunately, the Insign comes out, does connect with one, will turn around instantly. Does pop oh. the Viper's bit, but it's just a little bit too late. And Party Parrots will take the series. They'll head on to tomorrow. They will join the other three teams already gone through, the likes of G2 and Fabrican. And honestly, I'm excited to see what happens.